Hi everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and today I am going to be repotting my beautiful Philodendron Scandense Brazil. Now this is a wonderful plant, it has beautiful variegated leaves that are light green and dark green and very thin stems that grow around like a vine and I want this to reach right up to my ceiling. So, to do that, I want to pot it into this beautiful ceramic blue pot I have here. Another one in a whole series of these that I have brought home myself all the way from Shanghai. So, this plant doesn't need this amount of soil. So, what I've decided to do is get a plastic black pot, just like this, and Put this plant, which is in a much smaller pot, as you can see, into this pot, which is much bigger and plenty big enough for this plant. And it will just rest in the top of this pot. And then I don't have to fill the whole thing with soil and it won't be too heavy and it won't be a waste of soil. And it's just gonna be perfect for this plant. It won't get clogged down as well. So, the first thing to do is Oh, actually, when I brought it in, <laughs> I brought it in with two that were stuck together like that. I didn't realise, but it is this one that I need. So this one I can just take away. Now, take this out first. So this pot has a huge, huge hole. You can see it in the middle there. So I need to cover that hole before I start. So what I've decided to do is take another little pot another little plastic pot I've got from a plant, cut the bottom out and place that in the bottom so it's still got air holes, but the hole won't be too big for me to put the stake that I'm going to be putting in here in the bottom so it doesn't just fall out. So, there's the bottom part. The hole's perfect. I can place that in the bottom over the hole and the next thing I actually need to do is I need to perforate a hole in this pot in the middle because I have a very long uh, hole that's going to be going in the middle of this pot three meters high so that I know that once I've done this once I'm not going to have to redo it again um, that's just my idea so scissors and try and poke a little hole out of the bottom of this Let's see how we do this. See if I can do it this way. Because I don't want to open it up too, ooh, too much. Because now this doesn't work. I need to have a surface to do this on. So we'll just do this first. Okay, it proved a little bit difficult for me to get the hole in the bottom of this pot, but I don't want to go out to these other holes here because otherwise it's all going to split. I want this to be able to hold the stake in place as a support so it's not to be too big. So basically I've made a little hole to start with and now I'm going to show you this pot. <laughs> this pole that's going to go in the middle. <laughs> this, you won't be able to see the top of it now. Look at that. It reaches my ceiling. It's three metres high. So I am expecting this little guy to get three meters high. And I might actually go out and buy another one or two of these that are a little bit taller and put them in this pot because I want this to be thick as well so that you don't see this steak. It's only a little thin steak. I'm not going to be putting anything around it. So that way it will flush out and we'll only see the leaves on this plant. So I've perforated the hole. Now I need to get this steak through the hole. So to do that, I'm going to have to lay it down my sofa without hitting any of my calathea and start trying to push the stake through the middle of the pot. In fact, you want to see this, right? Yeah. I'll come a little bit closer, try and show you me putting it without getting my finger as well at the same time. So that wouldn't be very good. Trying to push it through the bottom of the pot because if it's tight to get in, then it's basically going to hold it in place quite well. So, 
my best. Oh, you know what? The hole needs to be a little bit bigger. I can't do it. One minute. Okay, I think I've done enough now with making the hole bigger. So, I'll put this through the bottom of the pot. It's gonna come out now. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. See, I can push it up the pot. So, that's where it's going to hold it right in place in the middle of the pot. It's absolutely perfect. And that's where the plant's going to be. So now, put the pole down in the pot without ruining my ceiling to rest it on a piece of plastic that's in the middle down there and push the pot back down to where it's going to be which is like that okay so basically, we just need to get the soil in place and I'm going to have to do my normal thing of not being able to use two hands. I'm going to have to use one hand to get this soil into place. So I'm going to open my bag of soil, get the soil all over the place straight away. I need to come in here and tidy up and clean this place anyway. So here we go, hands on, soil in. I just love this part when I'm massaging the soil. It's kind of like, you know, when someone massages your head, massages your hair, that feeling, you know, you know, when you're at the hairdressers and someone massages your hair or, for me, I don't go to the hairdressers, but you know, getting your head massaged. It feels like that. Oh, it feels so good. So now the soil is completely ready. So I'm ready to plant my lovely philodendron in its new pot with its new pole. Now this next part might be a bit of a challenge because this plant has been on this state for a while, but it might easily come off and I don't know how many pieces I have to uh, place around the new stake before I take a closer inspection, but I'm just going to get these off as much as I can. Some of them I can see are tied up with string, some are just tied up with metal pins. So it's just a matter of getting in there and prying them off. But first of all, I need to take this one that's got a string on it off here. Um, and then its root is going in there, but that's easy to get out. And another one down here. There are actually um, not many uh, bigger roots in the moss stack here. So that's not gonna make it too difficult actually to get these. To get these to come off how I want. Okay, now the plant is completely freed from this moss stake that I can use for something else. Now basically, it's quite simple. It's about getting these out and getting them repotted. Well, some of them really don't have that much going on with roots. So I will just put them in like they are. So this is the first one going in as close as possible to the stake. In like that. This was perfect getting the spoon because now I can the little root ball it has with it, with it. I get it and place it in by this stake, get the roots down, boom, 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 and there we go. Last little straggler. Yeah. So there we go. Get the leaves, get the soil, press it in, get it in soil. I will top up the soil after I think. I have to tie down low first, of course, to get all these to conform to their new hole. Possible. 
I need to make sure I get rid of everybody in. Everybody. Let's get a piece of every, a bit of every piece. Make sure I put every piece in it, like so. So, I'll take a longer piece of this. Go around. There. I mean, it obviously doesn't look very nice with all the ties at the moment, but they will disappear the more plant grows out. So for now, we just have to take it like that. So I'm just going to have a little look around here to see how it looks. I haven't looked on this side. Make sure everything down here is okay. No leaves are completely tied in with each other. Looks really good. So there we go. My beautiful philodendron has been repotted in this wonderful ceramic blue pot and this huge three meter high stake in the middle that's very solid in a pot that's only about this high, halfway down. So it's not full of soil all the way down. So plenty of drainage through the bottom if it should ever get over water, which it won't. Um, and it looks wonderful and I just can't wait for it to fill out more now. I think I'll actually buy a couple more that are already a bit taller. There is um, a plant centre I know that has some. Um, and there are only a few um, stems in this pot. There are only like five. It's not enough to bush out the whole thing. So I'm going to have to buy some more. It's already nicely bushed out the bottom. So a few more and a few more going up. And then this is going to look spectacular in no time because the stake itself is green, nearly have the same colour. So it's just going to look like it's part of the plant. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and to hit the bell so you know when the next video will be coming along. And I will show you this plant in the future, how it looks when it's grown much more higher and looks wonderful. I love this plant. So thank you very much and goodbye.